Hello, I'm Patricio Munoz, and here's another quick Photoshop video tutorial. Hey, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to grab two photos, like in this one. Here I have uh, two point-and-shoot photos where I love the expression going on here, and not so much a fan of the expression here, but I'm liking this one a little bit more. So I want to really get this fo uh, expression over to that photo, but as you can tell, uh, if you look really carefully, the backgrounds aren't perfectly aligned. So... I have to align the backgrounds first and then uh, bring in the photo. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And there's a lot of different ways to do it in Photoshop, so this is just one of the ways. So here we go. So this is the expression that I like. I'm going to bring it over into the other composition by duplicating the layers. So I'm going to right click and go duplicate layer. And instead of duplicating the layer here, I'm going to make sure I have the other composition selected and then click OK. And since I, since I now have the two photos here, I don't need this uh, image anymore. So, I'm going to, so and close it. So here we go. Now I'm on the other uh, composition. And you can see that I have the two layers and they're not aligned. The background is uh, moved a little bit. And this is because they're, you know, they're just uh, quick point of shoot photos. So I'm going to select the two photographs. There we go. And I'm going to go to edit, uh, edit and I'm going to go auto align layers. And I'm just going to keep it on auto and then I'm going to click, uh, click OK. So what Photoshop's now going to do is it's going to shuffle the two photos for me automatically to best align the background as, boss, as best as it can. So I can verify this by clicking on the top layer and toggling it on and off. And yes, you can see the backgrounds are now aligned. So that's a very, very fast way of doing it. And of course, you can probably do it yourself manually, but uh, since this tool is available within Photoshop, might as well use it. So next step is to isolate this face and bring it into to uh, this photograph replacing this one. Uh, so there are different ways to do it. I'm going to use masks because that's the way I usually like to work. Um, so you can apply them. I'm going to make sure the top layer is selected. I'm going to apply a mask by clicking on this icon here. And what it's done is it's created a white um, mask and that means everything's visible. And I'm going to invert that by hitting Control I. So now it's black, and you can see the bottom image revealed through it. So you can't see the top image anymore. So black means, of course, everything is transparent. So what I'm going to do is make sure I have the thumbnail selected, and then I'm going to go and hit the brush tool um, and make sure I have it on white, uh, which I do. And I'm going to make sure it's not a hard surface. I want it kind of uh, soft. I'm going to go all the way soft, I guess. And 500 pixels, uh, sure. That's good. I mean, you don't have to go with 500. That depends on your the size of your photograph. So you can adjust, of course, your brush size. Um, you don't need it too big or too small, just enough to paint the face over. So what I'm going to do now, again, making sure I have the layer selected, I'm going to basically paint white on this black uh, layer. And that's telling Photoshop that this is the stuff I want to reveal. So there I'm painting on the mask and slowly revealing the top layer just the parts that I want from the top layer so I'm just gonna go and I guess uh, since her body moved a little bit I'm just gonna select her entire body uh, this is a great way to save uh, photographs where maybe everybody's expression is great except maybe one or two people uh, that are blinking or might not be looking at the camera at the right time uh, and as you can see it is quite believable so now it looks like this image that was taken a second or two later is the same image um, so I'm going to toggle this on and off and you can see the two different photographs it's quite good so the last step we want to do is I think I'm just gonna see if I can save any of the side here it looks like I can since uh, in the auto alignment tool has created, I'm going to go full screen to show you, what the auto align tool has done is it's shuffled these layers and moved them around, rotated them, etc, etc. And in doing so, it's created this transparent area that we don't want, so we want to kind of crop that out of there. So I'm going to hit the C, which is the shortcut for the crop tool. I'm going to click and drag and make sure I have this image selected. There we go. And I've isolated just the image, and I no longer have any of the transparent areas uh, within the crop region. So I'm going to double click to apply, and there we go. Our image is done. Thanks for watching this quick Photoshop video tutorial. 
I'm Patricia Munoz, and I hope you found this one useful. If you would like to see more, please visit my website at piamunoz.com. That's P-A-M-U-N-O-Z dot com.